All right, time to time travel. Excuse me, this area is off limits. What are you doing here? Oh, detective. What brings you here at this hour? Yeah, I know him. He's one of my workers. I'm not one to talk. But how about a bet? We'll play cards. And if you do well, I'll tell you what I know. The workers left my cards at the camp. Find them and bring them here so we can play. Okay. Oh look, it's a spades. Eh, it's empty. Maybe the cards are in this tent? This cage can only be opened by a bird. The lock is rather puzzling. <laughs> Wandering the woods aimlessly isn't the best course of action. Yuck, it's covered in paint. I need to clean it somehow. That's one serious knot. I need to cut it somehow. Door's locked. I need to find the key. What happened to the star? Something useful rests in this box. Maybe I can find a key for it. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Oh. The key is still a separate thing, I see. Hurry, detect. Pay attention to the card's positions. While the foreman turns them over, he'll ask for you to find a specific card, okay? Lucky, no, not really. I had three attempts. Come on. They're in the same order, right? Again, not really. I made a mistake. <laughs> photo is Robert. He's been on the team for a long time. He's a good guy. Right before you showed up, he rushed past me into the forest. He shouted that he'd be back soon, but I don't know where he went. I'll tell you what. You won our game. Take the key to his trailer. Maybe you'll find something in there. like to find a morphing skull. That would be pretty great. Oh no. <sighs> Is this a hit of cash? I'm going to have to do something about these chains. Some stuff must have been locked away here for a rainy day. Map half. Hmm, could Robert be hiding things he found in the woods here? 
Bravo. Map is like, I clearly have something to do here. Hello. Oh, I didn't realize that was like part of. Okay. What's next? Maybe Robert took some notes. Still don't know what to do, game! In here? Oh. Fine. Now I'll find Robert for sure. Annotated map. Use the map in a notebook to find out where Robert went. Oh my god, every single part is a puzzle? Like, really?
Here we go. Hello. Morphing skull. Do, 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 do. Um, a spline is a bat without some light. Something sharp should suffice. What a beautiful amulet! What was that? I need to open this door as soon as possible and help him! This goat has seen better days. Maybe I can find his hor horns somewhere. You get the horn, you need to move the plate so that the hole reveals it. Select the plate to move it into an empty slot. Okay, okay, okay. Something's clearly hidden here. I need to start digging it with my shovel. Old book and skull cylinder. Uh, the roses. Al altar clue. Turn the cylinders until they match the image on the altar clue. Move the blocks with the skull and the sun into the holes placed in the center of the door. Move the graves by pressing the arrows to make way for the main block. Even get that in there. Okay, um. Right, so now we have to... Hmm. 
This is tricky because we can't do what we need to do. Which is that? Alright. Oh, oh, I see what we need to do. Um, I see what we need to do, of course. There. Ow. Kill them. Kill them all. Yes, I'll do as you command. I'll bring you these souls. Hmm, that was quite the hit. I didn't even have time to dodge. Oh, my head. Oh, I need to stop him. But first, we need a click bell. Uh, uh, uh. There, I see you. Saw you morph into that. Hello. Something sharp. Wow, so many locks! I need to search for the key! For one thing at a time, never mind. <laughs> a bird. Book fragment! A couple of bars are missing here. Oh, okay, okay, both of them at the same time. This place was clearly used for rituals, but what kind? Robert locked the door from the other side. I have to break my way through. Move the triangle to complete the image. Remember that the triangle you've chosen may only be moved to a neighboring slot. I mean, that sounds fine. This story happened many years ago. One day, a son was born to the leader of my tribe, and he was named Ward. When the time had come to pass the title, the chief saw dark cruelty in his son's heart and decided not to pass on his title. But Ward was so hungry for power that he killed his own father in a fit of rage. Upon learning this, the people rebelled and expelled him from the village. Ward then called upon a warlock who used dark magic to, s to summon the demon Obsidian. Ward asked for power to rule over the people, but Obsidian didn't want to serve the mortal and possessed Ward instead. Obsidian used Ward's hate, or maybe hatred, as an energy source, becoming stronger by feeding off it. Afterward, Obsidian, still inside Ward's body, killed almost all the people in the village. Only the local healer managed to survive unscathed. The healer performed the ritual and managed to exorcise Obsidian from Ward's body and trap it inside an amulet. But even trapped inside the amulet, Obsidian's strength was still so powerful that he could possess anyone who wore the amulet. The healer tried to find a way to expel Obsidian from the amulet, but he eventually died of old age. The healer was buried near the village in the crypt, and the amulet was buried with him. But his daughter, Ogdan, took an interest in Obsidian and tried to find out how to finish her father's work. And in time, she succeeded. Ogdan made a po potion recipe, one that had the power to expel Obsidian. But to make it, she'd need to wear the amulet. This led to a fear that Obsidian might be able to overpower her. So in the end, the recipe was made and the crypt was locked forever. The legend of Obsidian has been handed down from generation to generation but it's all but faded into obscurity. 
So that's how it started. Bridge instructions, okay. Alright, but time is up, so we are gonna bust out of here and, you know, take care of uh, Obsidian and, and everyone and uh, stuff in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya!